On the 9th of January 1806, Vice Admiral Lord Horatio Nelson was buried with the honours of a full state funeral at St Paul's Cathedral. His body had lain in state for two days from the 6th to the 8th of January in the painted hall at the old Royal Naval College, Greenwich, on the site of the uh, old Greenwich Palace. On the 8th, his body was moved by river procession past the Tower of London where cannon were fired to spend one final night before the funeral at Admiralty House on Whitehall. Nelson had died almost two months earlier on the 21st of October 1805 aboard the HMS Victory during the Battle of Trafalgar. A shot fired from the French ship Redoubtable passed through Nelson's shoulder, through his lungs and lodged in his spine. He was shot at 1.15 in the afternoon but he didn't die until 4.30 bullet causing him to bleed internally but he did live long enough to be told the news that the battle had been won and they were victorious. On the morning of the funeral Nelson's body was taken from Abbotty House in a cortege that was longer than the just under one and a half miles that it was from Abbotty House on Whitehall to St Paul's Cathedral in the city of London. His coffin, made from the mast of a previously um, destroyed sh enemy ship, Lorient, was taken on a purpose-built carriage which had been carved to look like the prow and stern, or the front and the back, of HMS Victory. Nelson was taken into the cathedral and his coffin lay on a platform under the Great Dome. During the service, his body was processed, or his coffin was processed up the nave and placed in front of the altar. The coffin was brought back from the altar to a great dirge which had actually been written especially for the occasion and lay back on the platform under the dome. His coffin was then lowered into the crypt where he is actually resting in a black marble sarcophagus intended for Henry VIII and originally commissioned by his chief minister, Thomas Wolsey. Visitors to London will recognise the name Trafalgar Square, named after Nelson's victory, and of course Nelson's column, which has the statue of Nelson towering 52 metres above the square.